these nuclear fuel rods have been stored at this site for decades. They're a mix of uranium and plutonium, highly radioactive and highly toxic. This nuclear power station in Serbia was closed in 1984. Only now have the authorities decided to call on outside help to dispose of the spent fuel. The organization responsible for this kind of operation is the International Atomic Energy Agency based in Vienna. Over 2,000 nuclear experts and administrators work here. The agency's budget is almost 400 million euros. And this is the man charged with monitoring how that money is spent. Norbert Hauser, the agency's external auditor. He's been doing his job for the past six years and knows where to go in the agency to get the information he needs. There are some doors that are already open, while others still have to be opened. Sometimes it's not easy, but in the end we always get what we need. Hauser has a team of 16 people who help him do the job. It means there's a lot of paperwork to take care of, and each budget item must be checked. After all, it's taxpayers' money that's at stake. Once a year, Hauser completes his report and presents it to the agency's committee. He makes recommendations on how to improve work practices and where savings can be made. But he also makes suggestions on how the agency can improve efficiency. For example, one of the agency's tasks is to help prevent nuclear material falling into the hands of terrorists. The problem is that this work is almost completely financed by voluntary donations by the agency's 150 members and not by compulsory contributions. In his report, which Hauser presents behind closed doors, he says that's unsustainable. No cameras are allowed at the meeting, but his recommendation makes an impression. To put it in layman's terms, we have to go out with a tin cup begging for money to do this very, very important work. And so a point that he is making here is anything that is that important, protecting the world against a dirty bomb in, in a city center or protecting the world against a nuclear weapon being uh, falling into the hands of terrorists, that deserves regular funding, not this voluntary begging money, if you will, that we have to go out with. So he's put a lot of emphasis on that this year. But not every idea Hauser puts forward is taken on board. A suggestion for a discount for early contributors, for example. That would prevent the agency running out of cash in autumn, as it usually does every year. We're used to coming up against opposition, but we usually succeed and we're strong enough to stay the distance. Once a year, all of the UN's external auditors hold a meeting to discuss reform proposals. This year, their meeting was in Bonn. The main topic of discussion this time is a proposal for the UN to adopt international accounting standards, just like the EU Commission or the OECD. The goal is to create more transparency and comparability. And up until now, the UN has been using its own standards, uh, and there are some accounting treatments in there which are not the same as would be used by many governments or private organizations. So I think it will give better financial information, more disclosure, and hopefully more credibility as well to the financial statements. But before that happens, a lot of agreements will have to be negotiated. By 2014 at the latest, all UN bodies should be using the new standard.